My generation finds itself at a crossroads. Our leadership has been mired in bureaucracy of its own creation. If we don't adapt politically and economically, our country will be left behind. We live way beyond our means with a foreign policy we can't afford and an entitlement system that we have encouraged. We print money for it, the value of the money goes down, and poor people pay higher prices. That is a tax. Whenever you have a government monopoly, it's, it's not going to be efficient, it's not going to deliver a good product. I mean, everything that we get from the free market, you know, such as, you know, cell phones or, 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 or computers or televisions, the quality keeps going up and the price keeps going down. But everything that government gets involved in, the quality goes down and the price goes up. The great achievements of civilization have not come from government bureaus. Einstein didn't construct his theory under order from a, from a, a bureaucrat. Henry Ford didn't revolutionize the automobile industry that way. In the only cases in which the masses have escaped from the kind of grinding poverty you're talking about, the only cases in recorded history are where they, where they have had capitalism. We the people tell the government what to do. It doesn't tell us. We the people are the driver. The government is the car. And we decide where it should go and by what route and how fast. talk to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally. This country right now owes $19 trillion, and they need somebody like me to straighten out that mess.